Hello guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to use this 8 by 8 mm self-locking DPDT switch. So let's get started. It has two conditions. This is in the pull condition and this is in the push condition. And it has six pins. If you keep this switch in this way, then you can draw its pin diagram like this. There is no internal connection between this side and this side. This pin number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Pin number 3 and pin number 6 are the poles. And pin number 1 and 2 are the throws for pole 1. And pin number 5 and 4 are the throws for pole 2. DPDT means double pole double throw. As it has two conditions, so we have to draw both the condition. The two conditions are push and pull. So first I'll draw the pull condition and here I'll draw the connections in the push condition. So whenever the switch is in pull condition then this pole is internally connected to pin number 1 and this pole is internally connected to pin 4. And whenever the switch is in the push condition then this pole is internally connected to this pin and this pole is internally connected to this middle pin. Now let's see this on the breadboard. Whenever you want to use this switch as DPTT, then you must put your switch in the middle of the breadboard. And if you want to use this switch just to on or off something, then you can put it anywhere in the breadboard. Now as we know, this is pin number 1, this is pin number 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. This pin number 3 is one pole. And now as you can see, this switch is in the pull condition. So as we have discussed before, in the pull condition, this pole is connected to pin number 1. And it, see, here there is no internal connection, only pin number 1. And for this side, and for this side, pin number 6 is internally connected to pin 4. Now change its condition. Now it is in the push condition. Now this pole should be connected to the middle pin. And as you can see there is no connection between these two. And for this side, this pin number 6 should be connected to the middle pin. And as you can see there is no connection between these two. Okay. And whenever we change its condition, see it is connected. And now there is no connection. Okay. Now let's make a simple circuit with these two switch. Here we have a green LED, blue LED and a red LED. I have connected all the cathode pin of LED to the negative rails. Now we have to connect both the negative rail. Now what we want to do is, whenever the switch is in the push condition, then the green LED will glow and whenever the switch is in pull condition, then the blue LED will glow. Now see the circuit. Now we have to design a circuit with two switches and three LEDs. We have 5 volt power supply and here we have the power switch and then we have the second switch. It is using as SPDT, single pole double throw. So when the switch is in pull position, then this is connected to here. Okay, and when it is in push condition, then this pole will be connected to this. Now we want to glow this LED when the switch is in push condition and we want to glow this LED when it is in pull condition. So here we need a resistor 
with a value of 220 ohms and this is blue LED and then it is connected to ground as you can see here the cathode pin is connected to ground and with this again we need one 220 ohm resistor one LED is connected and it is green LED now another pin is connected with a resistor and for this also in the push condition this green LED is connected so it is connected to pin number 2 and it should be connected to pin 1 and this is pole 1 so it is pin number 3 now I will connect this resistor to pin number 1 and this one to pin number 2 as you can see after this pin 3 of this switch that is the pole is connected with this switch now we have to connect it's one pole and one throw the pole means it is pin number 3 and as we know uh, whenever the switch is in push position then pin 3 will be connected to pin 2 so that is why I have connected here with pin 2 so this pole is connected to it pin 2 and its pole is connected to plus 5 volt so the pin number 3 is connected to positive rail now we have another LED the red LED we have to connect it with a resistor the value should be 330 ohms and the cathode pin is connected to ground as you can see I have already connected here so now put the 330 ohm resistor and this resistor should be connected to pole of the second switch or this pin number 2 of this the first switch so I am connecting it here its pole means pin number 3 and the other side of the resistor so our circuit is completed now just check it whether it works or not positive power is connected and the negative pin power off and power on now as the switch is in the pull position so this blue LED is glowing and I am pushing this switch the green LED will glow but as the power on the red LED will always glow so guys this is all for today I hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video I'll show you another topic till then stay happy and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching